Sydney Olympic Park supports 20 hectares of remnant and regenerating Sydney turpentine ironbark forest. Only 0.5% of the original pre-European forest remains intact. My name's Daryl. I work for Dragonfly Environmental and we're currently contracted by Sydney Olympic Park to manage the critically endangered Sydney turpentine ironbark forest where there's over 240 native species of flora and over 50 species of native birds. Controlled burns are an important part of managing this woodland and are done in partnership with National Parks and Wildlife Service and Fire and Rescue New South Wales. Hi, I'm Andrew and I'm a Habitat Management Coordinator for the Sydney Olympic Park Authority. At the moment we're standing in the middle of Sydney Turpentine Ironbark Forest community. The community is a fire dependent community and previous management practices exclude fire for well over 100 years. Back in 2018, fire was reintroduced into the reserve and we're burning in stages. Just completed uh, stage two last year in 2024. And as you can see, the regeneration after 18 months is quite amazing. The whole community is recommended to be burnt every 15 to 30 years. Monitoring shows that species richness in the community has increased from 106 species in 2002 to over 238 native species today. After decades of management, the Sydney Turpentine Ironbark Forest is in fantastic condition and has expanded from 13 hectares to over 20 hectares now. 